Hey guys, hope everybody's doing really well today. Um, it's 9.35 in the morning. I filmed a video last night, but it was just uh, a little bit less coherent than I wanted it to be. I spent a lot of time traveling yesterday, so um, we're in San Jose right now. We're getting ready to leave to Guatemala today. But I just wanted to pop in and do a quick video and talk with you guys really quick. See how everybody's doing. Um, really, really excited about senior check-ins rolling in the last week. And even though I am going to be in another country, I am still going to be available for um, questions or anything you guys might need me for. So don't hesitate to reach out. Um, I'll also be posting some stuff in the group. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of things. Uh, number one, staying on track when you're on the move. So Sanya and I actually prepped a bunch of food before we took off. But unfortunately, um, we left it in the fridge. So uh, we were pretty limited on what we could do with our food, but we still kind of made the best of it. We stopped in for breakfast along the way to San Jose, and I just had some just had a plain egg white omelet. Um, we got here and we we're absolutely exhausted because we had barely slept the night before. And I ended up ordering, uh, when we came here, I had some pork loin and um, some rice and some beans and passed out. Um, and then last night we were thinking, we were, we were both absolutely exhausted and we were contemplating whether we were going to um, go out for something to eat, which I knew would end up including some drinks some blah, 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 blah. And I'm still trying to stay on track till the end of this, even though I am on vacation. Guatemala is the home of chocolate, which is scary because I've got a pretty big sweet tooth. Um, but anyway, um, we, we ended up going to a grocery store and we just grabbed some chicken, we grabbed some salad and um, some whole grain low fat wraps and we just kind of mixed it in. So I'm still keeping it, um, still keeping it straight, uh, still doing well. Like I said, a little tired today, but I still wanted to touch base with you guys. I kind of talked about yesterday the way that um, there's a really big focus on macronutrients, right? So your carbohydrates, your proteins, um, and of course your fat. And we don't really talk about micronutrients enough. And I also mentioned that I would be talking about micronutrients a little bit more um, in this challenge and towards the end of the next challenge. So I just today I'm just going to really quickly tackle one micronutrient. And one micronutrient that I think is really, really important to the body is actually phosphorus. And it's something that we don't really throw around a lot in bodybuilding, but it's a really, really essential micronutrient. Um, phosphorus, interestingly enough, actually composes 1% of your complete body weight. So your body... Complete density, complete weight is actually 1% phosphorus, which is pretty interesting. And the reason for that is, is that primarily your teeth and your bones are made of phosphorus. Interestingly enough, it's also one of the most efficient vitamins that we find in our North American diets. And as I kind of talked about before, a lot of that has to do with the fact that the quality of our produce is declining, the quality of the minerals in our, in our produce and in our meats due to um, injection of hormones and just due to... Uh, over farming is starting to rapidly decline. Phosphorus is just one of those things that you need that you don't know you need. Um, as I talked about before, uh, I do tend to get my minerals from um, vitamins, but I also eat a really varied diet. Uh, I just really strongly can't recommend enough that you do go out and get yourself a decent vitamin. Now, as I kind of mentioned before as well, the science tends to say that you get uh, way better, way better absorption from natural sources. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of natural sources of uh, of phosphorus but um and the, the absorption that you get from vitamins isn't quite as high as it is through food but at the same time um some is better than none so make sure you're taking a really good uh multivitamin um yeah so as i said the majority of phosphorus in the body is actually found in your bones and teeth which would explain the one percent ratio of weight right um plays an important role in how we actually process carbohydrates and fats and i think that that's one thing that a lot of people kind of miss out in their diets and, and, and one reason why we need a lot of these minerals is a lot of them uh, are directly involved in the processing of carbohydrates and fats. Um, interestingly enough, it also works with B vitamins. Um, it's closely intertwined and I am going to talk about B vitamins because B vitamins are something that we do speak a lot about in the health and fitness industry, um, but I'll deal with that tomorrow. I'm just trying to separate one thing at a time. Um, so phosphorus is actually directly uh, related to kidney function, to muscle contraction inside of your body, to a normal heartbeat, and to nerve signaling. So obviously these are a few functions that are really, really important inside of your body. You want to make sure that you are getting your phosphorus. Um, and new, new uh, research actually suggests, interestingly enough, that phosphorus is more easily digested from meat products rather than vegetable products. 
So I'm going to talk a little bit about sources, but that's just something that's a that's kind of interesting to to kind of lull around in your head. Um, I do have a few of the major sources of phosphorus dotted jotted down. Uh, but the primary one, interestingly enough, is dairy, um, with uh, with yogurt being a massive massive source of phosphorus. That's why I'm such an adamant fan of uh, Greek yogurt. Um, want to make sure there's a that you get your your nutrients and your minerals. A Greek yogurt is a really really good way to do that. Eight ounces actually eight ounces of yogurt actually contains over 50% of the phosphorus that your body's going to need. Um, other sources of course include cheese and a couple other things that we don't really want to feed ourselves because it gets a, a little higher on the fat end. Um, fish as well, halibut and salmon in particular have a massive amounts of phosphorus. Cod, tuna, sardines um, are all extremely high. Um, meat, beef and turkey can say contain roughly the same amount of phosphorus. Um, chicken as well is extremely high. So you want to make sure you're getting your chicken, um, get your beef and get your turkey. Or on the other hand, if you're a vegetarian, interestingly enough, the highest, the highest value for uh, non-meat um, phosphorus actually comes from beans, um, as well with a, a lot of nuts having a high content. Lentils as well. Um, and once again, vitamin D, natural vitamin D in your system actually helps increase your phosphorus absorption. Well, there's also a significant amount of phosphorus found inside of whole grains. So you want to make sure that you're eating these things. And, and we put such a heavy focus on, on eating our fats and our carbs and what kind of carbs are you, are you eating. And those are all really, really important. But if you're not getting the minerals and you're not getting the vitamins that your body needs to power itself, you're leaving yourself at a, a really, really large deficiency. And as that, that, the study that I posted yesterday explains even some of the most elite athletes in the world have major, major mineral um, deficiencies. So it's good to be cognizant of these things and it's good to make food choices based on the amount of minerals and fuel that you're giving your body. Sometimes the, the difficulty comes in when you when some of these things put a massive uh, impedance on, on, on your carb counts and, and overload your fat counts. So you really kind of got to be selective about where you're getting them from. And I really highly do suggest that you do take a multivitamin. Other than that, guys, um, I hope everything's well. It's good with me. We're, we're super busy. I'm going to be heading out here pretty soon. I'm going to go and get in my uh, workout at the gym. We just kind of, the gym is very basic here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just a ton of, of uh, circuits because I'm looking to stay lean. I don't think I'm going to make any massive gains on this vacation, but I do want to stay on the horse and I want to stay on the, um, I want to keep my eyes on the prize, so I'm just going to be doing, I'm going to choose about 10 exercises, and I'm just literally going to do circuits for probably 45 minutes of those 10 exercises without stopping. My rest will be as I transition from one exercise to the other, and I want to maintain a moderate pace. I want to make sure that I'm getting a good pump, and I want to make sure that I'm getting the heart moving and the blood flowing, and that's kind of how I'm going to accomplish that. So I will be posting once again as soon as we get to Guatemala. I'll keep you guys uh, in touch and in tune with anything. If you guys have anything you want to talk about, if you have anything that um, you're interested in me doing a video on, make sure you post it in the comments below, and I'm more than happy to do that. So happy, what day is it? My God, where am I? <laughs> happy Friday, guys. we got two more days of this. Uh, Check-ins are going to be on Sunday. It's really important that you take your check-in the same way that you did your initial check-in, right? We need to see the, um, uh, we need to see, you know, your feet on the scale with the signage as well. You don't necessarily have to uh, hold the, you don't have to hold the thing in all of your photos because it can kind of impede your body position, but just take three photos from front, side, back with, with your, with whatever it may be, if it's a newspaper or whatever else, or if it's a, if it's Google time on your tablet, make sure you take those pictures and send those to me in addition to maybe three pictures posing in, um, posing in the same position without the tablet, just because I know when you're trying to take a picture and you're holding the tablet and you're worried, you know, it doesn't really give you an accurate view. So uh, do get those photos in on Sunday. If you guys have any questions, then feel free to hit me up. I will be available while I'm, uh, while I'm doing the traveling. So just have an awesome day, guys. I look forward to talking to you soon and uh, keep pushing two more days. And I expect everybody to go out and have a good meal and enjoy some time with family. I'll see you soon. Bye.